I want to do a video on the analysis of a spherical pressure vessel using Stacro. First, let's look at the data sheet. What we are having is the diameter of the sphere is 25 meters. The working pressure for the sphere is within the range of 400 to 900 kilopascal. And uh, the test pressure is one, the maximum test pressure of 1,757 kilopascals. And it was supported by 14 number of legs. So let's first start with the modeling of the sphere and start to. So the first element is the margin to be at zero. Since the diameter is 25 meters i want to get my radius first so i take my radius as 12.5 then i link my nodes together okay after which i uh, select my beam and do a circular repeat I want to rotate it in the Z direction at 180 degrees with 10 number of steps and through this node, node 1 and I link the steps so I say okay okay now the next thing I want to delete the lines that I don't need if they are just like my construction lines, I don't need them again. Okay. Unless I have to highlight all the numbers again once more. Then do a circular it again in the y direction this time i'm going to 360 and we have 14 number of legs but uh, for this i want my nodes to coincide where my legs are and i want to have more fine uh, so i'll be using 28 number of it's number of steps 28 through this node through this node then i link my steps again Let's see, okay yeah so the next thing now for me to do is okay okay let me first of all add my um plates so let's go back to our the thickness of my plates varies but let's use average thickness of 37.5 i want to i want to apply the thickness all over the sphere so uh, i like all the numbers Click this. Okay. So I come here, general thickness. I change this to steel. That's thirty-seven point five. Say add and close. So I assign it to view. I want to assign it to view, so I say yes, assign to view. So now the plates have been assigned. So the next thing I for me to put my assign my leg, the leg for the sphere. So we'll come back here again and look at the the h the h is the distance from the 
bottom of the sphere to the ground level and that is um, 2.5 so when i add it with the radius of the sphere we're having 15 meters so i come up here and pick a note and copy the node paste the node in minus y direction minus 15 say okay and i'll link my notes together okay so the next thing now to do is to uh, create the other 14 loops so i can still do that using my circular repeat again okay still maintaining my rotation Axis as Y. Then 14 number of legs specified through this node. Yeah, yeah that's to this node. And I'm not linking my steps this time. So I'll just say okay. Next thing to do is to add my supports. So opening bar so I create one of the fixed now. So I assign my support members. So at this stage, the sphere the model of the sphere is almost done. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll talk of how we'll discuss how to assign the members for the legs. The legs. So in the next tutorial, we'll do even that. So thanks for watching.